More than 100 city leaders are leaving the safety of their homes and their comfy beds to sleep on the street. It is a show of solidarity for the hundreds of homeless young people who sleep on the streets of New Orleans every night. WDSU's Casey Ferrand is at the Covenant House where the fourth annual sleep out is just getting started. And Casey, what is the fundraising goal for this year? Well, Adriana, this year they're hoping to raise $400,000. They're closed right now at $385,000. And if you look right now, you can see some of the sleeping bags are laid out here for the people who committed to sleeping on the streets now. Now, this sleep out is being hosted in 13 cities and across America. The need for more funds grows as the number of homeless people being served continues to rise. Crazy is not doing anything, and it's only one night. And it's such a small thing in the overall scheme of things. Ed Trappoline is among 150 city leaders, including judges, city council members, lawyers, and doctors who are trading in their beds for cardboard boxes and sleeping bags, sleeping on the streets outside the Covenant House. They don't sleep much, that is for sure. It is hard. It, it, the quarter is loud, the lights are bright, the cars are coming and going. They're really sacrificing. It's one night. It's not every night like some of these children are doing. So um, I don't think it's a sacrifice at all. I'm willing to, to do that to help these children. The sacrifice is being made for the 150 teens and young adults living here. We care for a lot of kids who've been thrown out of homes that no longer want them. Kids who age out of foster care, who come out of juvenile jail. We, we care for kids who've been abused and neglected. Many of the people who've participated in this sleep out over the past four years are now some of the biggest advocates for the center. And now we have a very enlightened group of community leaders who go to bat for our kids and advocate for our kids, whether it be the mayor, or the council, whether it be bank presidents or emergency room doc. Michelle Hooper has raised nearly $80,000 for the Covenant House in recent years. I think this is, is a program that really helps the kids. Um, by giving them the skills to save money, get a job, finish their degrees if they need to, and um, give them a safe place uh, to, to sleep. And the number of youth served here has grown significantly, from 45 per night four years ago to now 150. Now, the executive director says that the people staying here, a third of them are actually young mothers. 50% uh, of the young men staying here have been to jail, and they range from 16 to 22 years old.